know I gotta ride or die So guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see today, we have a very, very interesting car with us. We have a Saab turbo swapped Vauxhall Astra. This car has started life as a 1.6 litre GLS, uh, actually a two owner car from the Isle of Wight and the owner has put in a Saab turbo engine, so the B204 engine. We're working with about 10 PSI today on low boost. It is incredibly cold. It is absolutely freezing cold out today, actually. So it's hard to find traction in this thing. But as cars go, a four-door Astra from this generation is just unheard of on the streets, especially of uh, the Isle of Wight, if I'm quite honest. I haven't seen one of these on the streets in a very, very long time. So it's really nice to see one. But it's nice to see one in this condition. It is absolutely mint. And when I say mint, it's mint mint. The only things it does have is slight rust on the boot you guys will see in a minute. But that's not why we're here. We're here because I want to go and experience this thing and understand what it's like to actually drive this in comparison to maybe other cars that we've driven previously. I love the idea of the Saab swap in these. So the Saab swap actually is super easy and I say super easy, I've never done it, but I've heard from the owner it is pretty much bolt in to the engine bay on one of these. So out there, if you're after one of these, you can pick the actual Astras up, you know, depending on how nice you really want it, it can be upwards of £500,000, say, uh, for this uh, condition, maybe, or 1500 quid for this condition, especially low owners, good miles, and, you know, some really nice paintwork. But you can get them super cheap if you can find one. They are becoming hard to find, though. But when they do come up, they seem to be pretty cheap. But the Pierce de Resistance is that engine in the engine bay is super cheap. You can buy a whole Saab these days for well under a thousand pounds with this turbo engine. As the owner has been telling me, it's pretty much, you could take the front of the Saab out and put it underneath this car and bolt it all in. So, yes, I wouldn't be able to do it. I am not mechanically minded, but a lot of people out there would be able to do it pretty easy if you're after one of these. So the owner was actually saying you could build this car for, you know, two and a half grand if you really wanted to that's running and driving all in with the car and buying another Saab at the same time but just wanted to show you quickly around we want to get into the drive of this thing because that's what it's all about but the four doors with these gold wheels yes I've said it's a sleeper in this video but I do think it's a genuine sleeper car because you wouldn't know this was you know north of 200 250 horsepower on a good day this thing if you really wanted it to be. They're about 180, 190 when they leave the factory, the Saab engines. So this one with the 10 PSI, a little bit more air going through it means it's a little bit more powerful. But as you come around the back, the 1.6 litre 16 valve badges are still on there with a little exhaust system just coming out the back. Very of era modification, I think. Gold wheels are a Marmite thing if you like them. If you don't, the owner actually wants to put this on some standard uh, steel wheels which is a really good idea i think something he's going to do in the not so distant future just to give it that full sleeper look if you come around the front a little bit of air intake just this side in the form of the gsi air intakes you can just about see behind the number plate there a little bit of cooling but also a black intercooler just to give it some more stealth look but what we'll do is we'll actually get in this thing i'm going to take it out i want to go and enjoy this for you guys and for myself because again i'm a Vauxhall fan i would love to put one of these engines or a z20 let in one of these cars i think it would just be the coolest thing ever but enough of the walk around enough of blabbing let's get out let's see what this thing is like on the road see what 250 horsepower say in something that's just shy just north of 900 kilos let's go and see what this is like on the road right let's get this thing started let's get the party started so everything goes on uh heating on because oh my god it is so cold in the uk at the moment right now it is subtle you wouldn't necessarily know this uh, engine was in this car in my opinion it is sleepery to the point where yes if it didn't have the wheels on it i feel like you wouldn't even know anything was happening there is you know gauges in here we've got gps uh speedo and stuff everything in here is built to use it's built to use built to purpose so let's see what this car is like of course i've driven it here i haven't really put my foot down in it but it's really exciting to me to have this car on the channel because way back when when i you know started driving these cars were everywhere and 
I always wanted to put this engine or the Z20 let in a Corsa C. Corsa C was my first car, so I still have a very big love for those cars and how they are. And I still would love to do that today, but I've never driven a car with the Sa Saab swap. So for me, this is really, really exciting uh, today. This is a super exciting day. I know it sounds silly, but this is, this is one of those cars. I've wanted to drive something Saab B204 swapped. So for me, this is quite a good day. I, I'm, I'm happy, I'm well happy today. Oh, a little bit of a turbo fly, did you hear that? Oh, that sounds so good. I will say, sorry about my thumb, I sliced it off yesterday. Literally sliced it off. The car's up to temperature, I'm gonna cycle through the gears, just see what this thing's like, because say we're working with mid 200 horsepower in a 900 950 kilo car that is a fast car this car you'll feel everything you'll feel how fast it is you'll feel the boost come on you'll feel the wheel spin you'll feel absolutely everything which is such a cool feeling you'll never get that feeling from a new car especially the turbo surge chatter everything so second gear whoa <laughs> Speed limit. <laughs> Straight away. <laughs> that is the front end just wants to go that way all day long. That is hilarious. Right, third gear. We're hang on to the steering wheel out of the corner. Whoa! The torque steering even in fourth. <laughs> That is absolutely fantastic. That feels so, I know it's only 250 horsepower, 230 horsepower, whatever you want to call it, 10 PSI on a Saab engine. But my God, in this car, it just darts all over the road. New cars don't feel like this, and I love bringing stuff like this to the channel. So again, thank you so much to the owner. And if you do have something like this, you want to bring it to the channel, let me know, let me know shoot me a message on Instagram. It just, it actually feels pretty normal in here. It feels like it left the factory with this setup. It's, it's such an odd experience because I've driven, you know, engine swapped cars in the past. Nothing this, um, this old, I don't think, and this refined. So, second gear again. <laughs> that is that is absolutely fantastic. What a thing to put a smile on your face. Oh. And the, the chatter is, is so 90s chatter in it. It's so 90s. Oh. What a, what a chatter to have. That is, this is exactly what this car wants, is that chatter. It just sounds so right. I feel like um, what I'm actually trying to do is one tick a car off my list that I've wanted to drive. Uh, I love this chassis uh, of Astra. I love this shape of Astra. I love this era of Vauxhall. I really like the idea of the Saab engine going into this car. It's something so simple if you think about it because it's so interchangeable, because it's so, you know, relatively. I'm not going to. I said easy a couple of times. It's. For a mechanically minded person, it's going to be easy. Someone like me, probably not as easy. But it's something you can get your hands on and that's the main thing. The main thing is you can go out there, find one of the Saabs, readily available, relatively. I mean, they're not as readily available as they used to be, nor are these Astras. But when they do come up, they're not as cherished as you want them to be. So they're gonna be a little bit cheaper, which is quite nice. So it's again, to build this car, like I've already said, it's gonna be relatively cheap. Uh, you're gonna have a over 200 horsepower, nine on 900 kilo car if you wanted to make it lighter you could i mean the the sunroof mechanism on these are, are really heavy second gear <laughs> oh mate this car sounds the nuts absolutely sounds the nuts yeah if you wanted to do this though it could be lighter you could get 300 horsepower out of this i was talking to the owner and he said you know i've got another turbocharger at home it will happily see 300 horsepower in the summer i will do it you know he's, he's driving this in december he wants to go and enjoy it and you know he said it's on low boost at the moment 10 psi is enough for the weather conditions it is a light car it won't put the power down um, as much as you want it to and you know changing the wheels out he said yeah you know when i put uh, you know a bit more power on it i want to put some different wheels and tires on it because i feel like it needs it it needs the more contact patch for that front end and i can see why even at this power it is throwing me around the road like you will not believe a lot of 
cars do feel like this from this era if you put power through them. This one's up there though, it just darts around all over the place. Very, very impressive. <laughs> Hugely impressed with this car, I must admit. I, I've driven stuff from this era and this is up there. I'd love to put this engine in a course of C and put some more power in it, and, and, you know, because they're a little bit, not necessarily heavier, but it's just a different car. But this one, it's just been done right. It's been done on a driveway as well with a couple of mates. Like that's how these cars were built back in the day. And this is exactly how this one has been built. And I love this car for that. Absolutely love it for its sheer simplicity. It's relatively cheapness. Like you can get into this car buy it buy the turbo engine buy the turbo car if you wanted to it wouldn't be that hard and something that's really cool like i love the look of this car the color's cool the flat arch on the back looks the part as well and that is genuinely a fast car it's a fast car to me regardless of how you think fast cars are this is up there with one of the coolest things i know there'll be people in the comments that's not cool i don't like the color gold wheels there nah. Nah, mate, when, when you were out there and it's like the early 2000, late 2000, you know, 2008, 2010, you saw stuff like this, homebrew builds, sort of sleepery, and you were just like, what is in that? And then he put his power down. <laughs> it would just go all over the road. What an experience, I've loved today's shoot. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you did like this style of content, please let me know in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel, it will give us more of an audience to get more of these cars on the channel. And again, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it, like this video if you did like it, and I'll see you all on the next one.